Hello everybody and welcome to Life Therapeutic Massage and welcome to 2012. I wish everybody a healthy and happy and prosperous 2012. Uh, from my last video blog, if you remember, we were talking about the deep abdominal muscle and I proposed that I was going to teach you an exercise. So I'm going to focus in specifically because it's that time of year we all have those New Year's resolutions. Number one of the pet pile tends to be I want to reduce my weight and I want to flatten my stomach. So we're going to focus on how to address that stomach, how to address that abdominal wall. So principally when we're breathing, we should be very concentrated on the breath coming exclusively from the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is a muscle that sits right underneath your rib cage here. And every time we breathe in, that diaphragm should actually move downward. Now if that's moving downward correctly, that means these abdominal organs in here have got to go somewhere. And they should be allowed to come out or forward. And when that happens, it creates a vacuum which draws the air into your lungs, fills your lungs, oxygenates the body, and does its job. However, most people, young adults, adolescent years, we tend to reverse it. Our breathing becomes more in this region. We keep that stomach in all the time, and we keep the chest lifted, and a consequence then is we recruit, we use these muscles in the neck. So that's why we tend to find then as we age, our neck muscles get tighter, and we drive forward. If you remember what we talked last time, it was about 25,000 repetitions every day that we use these muscles, teaching them to shorten and tighten to actually lift the rib cage up and down to suck that air into the lungs. So if we start to reverse that, and go back to how we were designed to breathe, if you look at a young child, look at their abdomen expand and flatten, that's how we're designed to breathe. So how do we start to do that? Very simply, I would do it just seated initially. And I'll demonstrate it I have to come up a little bit here for you. So I'll demonstrate it. I'll pull my t-shirt nice and tight. So when you're taking a deep breath in, remember that diaphragm is going to move downward. And the organs are going to come forward, or they should be. That's correct breathing. And then as you breathe out, the reverse happens. The abdominal wall uh, comes back in, and the diaphragm moves upward, therefore pushing the air back out. So here's what it looks like. I'll just take maybe three breaths here so you can see. Breathing in. Breathing out, in, out, and one more time, breathing in, and breathing out. So you can see that gentle movement forward, essentially out and in, of that deep abdominal muscle. It's, I call it the corset muscle. It functions like a corset around the abdominal region. It attaches into the fascia of your lower back, so it supports the entire spinal column, particularly at that lower section, whereas most people have low back pain. So this is huge, not just for flattening your abdominal wall, but also improving your health of the lower back muscles. So this muscle is interesting. I trained a client once, and she did this diligently for six weeks. She, without changing a diet, we'll come to that in a moment, but without changing a diet, she lost three inches around her abdominal area just by retraining this muscle. It has that much potential. So to finish up, the other things we've got to take into consideration beyond just training this muscle is how you're feeding your body, how much sleep you're getting, how much movement time you're getting as well, and also our emotions and relationships. Now those are four areas, it's what I call the four pillars of health, particularly muscle health, that's my focus. And I'm going to start to review a little bit more of these uh, on the next time that we connect here together. So in the meantime, sign up for my e-newsletter if you haven't done already. Uh, my website is www.lifemassage.ca and I hope to see you very soon. Take care.